so welcome uh, if you can please do me a favor and in the comment below please let me know that you're present or just say hello hi sort of like as if we're in class and that way i know that you're present and interested in these type of videos thank you so much all right first ticket here is from uh, okay I'm, I'm really bad with names uh, so i apologize if i if i mispronounce this um, but it's from um, let me see here just a moment from um on on daime on daime i i apologize if, if if i mispronounced that but thank you very much for the ticket i appreciate it so first thing first um you want to assign the ticket to yourself again just like in the first video we're going to concentrate on how to work these systems even if you've never worked help desk before so once you find the ticket you pick you pick up the ticket and then you assign it to yourself just like i did here assignee that's you know that's me i signed it to myself all right so the title of this ticket is slow pc and um, there's no description here but that's okay uh, usually there's a description up here but there is a comment here that says hi my pc is very slow and uh, I, I noticed it doesn't have ssd can i upgrade on my computer and uh, the second part here is I don't have any viruses or full disk or anything other than it would slow my PC otherwise. Thanks. Um, great question. This is a really great question. Um, normally, when working tickets, you want to uh, contact the customer, take control of their computer, and see what might be causing the slowdown first. And uh, uh, this person has already checked for obvious issues. And thank you for mentioning this, by the way you know, mentioning viruses, full disk, or any other things that would slow down my PC. And I'm going to show this in the video. So the main issue here is that the PC is very slow. And uh, this person has a really good idea what needs to be done to resolve the issue. But we're going to talk about this. So that way, uh, people that are into starting brand new into help desk can understand a little bit more about computers. And um, they've also uh, check for viruses which can slow down the computer and check to see if the disk is full or anything other, anything else that might slow down the computer otherwise and we're going to talk about that uh, so we can learn from it so the first thing first i'm going to minimize this ticketing system window when your hard drive which in this case is local c drive by the way this is when you click on this pc icon you open up this uh, part of it where you can see your storage media your hard drive this and that and your main hard drive or, or uh, main drive i should say actually uh, is local disk c in this case you can see that we have free space of 71.3 gigabytes and total size of this drive is 111 so <clears throat> excuse me this is not even you know it's not even half used uh, so there's plenty of space on this drive and there's no reason that, you know, it would cause a slowdown. The reason it could uh, cause a slowdown if this space was very low or almost non-existent. Because your computer will function if this goes down, down to even zero. The reason behind that is because it will function with the things that are loaded in RAM which is your random access memory. So if you open up a task manager, you can see how much RAM you have. In this case, um, it's 16 gigabytes, and you can see that 5.8 gigabytes out of 16 are being used. So around 36% of that. So what is this stuff? This is a temporary place. They're, they're memory sticks that are a lot faster than any storage memory storage that you have on your computer this is why computer loads data the program that you open this window that we have open for the our ticketing system is loaded into ram for faster access it's loaded once so that way it can run faster and it's and it's there because it's it's just faster it loads it into ram random access memory um, the reason it's called random access memory because it will do the same thing if, an, if I open up Chrome here, so if I open up Chrome, you'll see that this goes up. You see how it goes up to 6.1 because Chrome just got loaded into RAM. This is exactly what happens. The reason it does that because 
it's faster it's faster for it's it processes uh, data faster okay so when you run out of RAM let's say we max this out and it goes beyond uh, 15.9 gigabytes or roughly 16 gigabytes um, it tries to create a virtual version of RAM and the Windows operating system tries to create a virtual version of this of, of the RAM so it can process things that open up just like Chrome that we just opened up in addition. So I'm going to go ahead and close Chrome and you'll see it goes down. See now we've freed that RAM that was there. I simply just right clicked it down there in the taskbar and closed it. So when it runs out it tries to create a virtual uh, virtual RAM for processing for temporary storage and it does that by creating a page file on your hard drive. So guess what? If you run out of space on your hard drive, it will not be able to create this temporary virtual RAM. And that will obviously cause a slowdown. You know? Because there's nothing to work with. If this goes down to zero, and this goes down to zero, um, the Windows operating itself, Windows operating system just doesn't know what to do. So now it has to juggle things to try to free up uh, either RAM or virtual memory um, space so that way it can work. But it's super slow because the page file that it creates, the virtual memory after it runs out of RAM is slow, especially if it's an old school hard drive, which has magnetic disks inside that spin and that can take time. And uh, yeah, that's one reason why it could, you know, just run slow. Uh, you can adjust virtual RAM on your computer, but if it comes down to that, then you might want to add more RAM or alternatively, if you have a hard drive, see, this is just a regular hard drive, um, HDD disk one, E and F. These are both just different partitions of the same drive, same physical drive. E and F, they are magnetic drives. The, this one, local C here, is a solid state drive, which is C, and this one is hard drive, which is just a regular. I just use it for basically storage. You can see it's a, like around a, a gigabyte. Uh, I'm sorry, almost a terabyte in size, estimated. So solid state drives, which happens to be this C drive, are a lot faster a lot faster because they are chips they're literally just computer chips there's nothing spinning they're a lot faster and for those reasons when you do run out of ram it's better off that you have solid state drive to work on that page file okay to work on that to create that virtual uh, virtual ram and this is what this person mentioned as well he said uh, they said, uh, I noticed it doesn't have SSD. Can I upgrade on my computer? The answer is simply yes, uh, because all of the newer computers for the past, I want to say 15 years, use a SATA connector, a serial ATA connector, and um, it's interchangeable. So if you have just a regular hard drive, which is magnetic, yes, you can just literally yank this one out, make sure you back up any data that you want to keep, usually from your local profile. If you have any documents stored, I would recommend you go inside of C, Users, whatever you use to log into your computer, login name, here is Koboman, this is what I'm logged in as right now, and back up all your documents, your favorites, all of that stuff before you do a swap, and you can definitely swap out to a solid state drive. All right, now, I want you to keep in mind also that a uh, computer does always uh, create a vert page file. You can see there's a page file here already created. It does that anyways, but it really likes to do that when you have a solid stage drive, which is okay. So it's it's a bonus, basically. It's free. Um, uh, it's free. I should say it's free performance. And this you're better off having a solid state drive to begin with. Uh, because your computer is going to create that page file anyways because it's by design because Windows 10 and newer operating systems they just assume that you have a solid state drive and they like to uh, use it to create virtual 
uh, virtual RAM inside of it. You can see that page pool here is 1.6 uh, gigabytes and there's cached of 10 gigabytes. So <clears throat> it's regardless to, you know, any advice to anybody, always upgrade to solid state drives. They're cheap nowadays anyways. So, you know, that's what I would do. <clears throat> and obviously if you have a virus, let me take a sip of water, excuse me. Um, if, if you have a virus, you could notice that um, if it's a malicious virus that slows down your computer, you can see the CPU up here in the first tab under processes. You can see this go up to 100% and you'll see something sketchy running in the background that looks like it's taken up a lot of you know, performance. Of, of course, in here, when you go to performance, you can see that CPU is being used a lot. And that's one indicator of, you know, that might be something virus related or there is an antivirus running in the background or Windows updates are happening. Um, you know, many other things. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comments below. All right. Well, that was a nice segue to actually ask you guys to leave a comment. <laughs> I don't think I missed anything. I mean, there are other things that can cause slowdowns. It could be bad drivers too, you know. But yes, to answer this, I'm going to reply to customer and say, yes, you can upgrade your computer to an SSD given that there are no other issues that given that there are no other issues with the computer uh, it does seem like you've checked all the things that I would have 